or on site with the Greenville Zoo to take part in the Zoo and Aquarium Serology Study. Today we're doing the biosecurity assessment survey. We talked to the facility representatives to look at what practices they either currently had in place or that they made modifications to. This is funded by the American Rescue Plan. It's a study looking at SARS-CoV-2 in zoos and aquaria. To make our animal collection safer, to make our staff safer, to make our guests safer here at the zoo. To try to decrease that risk of transmission of disease, specifically SARS-CoV-2. Well, the Greenville Zoo is a smaller zoo. It's in a beautiful park right near downtown Greenville. The diversity of the collection and the smaller animal size as well as facility size lends itself to working so well with the community. Partnerships are invaluable is almost an understatement at this point. We at the federal level, we can't do this on our own. When we show up to facilities and tell them that we're working for USDA for this study, they're very excited. The fact that we've gotten 59 zoos to voluntarily let APHIS personnel on site. They're really happy that someone's in this space and performing this work. And to send us samples that are frankly irreplaceable. We had done a number of exams on our animals and we're going to share that with APHIS and USDA and kind of see what, if any, of our animals may have had an exposure to COVID. That hopefully will give us a picture of the range of species that are susceptible to SARS-CoV-2. It's important for APHIS to do this work because we're the animal health agency. You know, we're hoping that the work we're doing will serve as a template so that we will be better prepared for the next SARS-CoV-2 pandemic, which hopefully doesn't happen. And a lot of things related to COVID can apply to other emerging diseases. And we're going to use the, the findings from this study to help prevent that transmission, to help protect the animals in zoos and aquaria, to help protect the humans that work at these facilities too from getting SARS-CoV-2. One Health touches everyone and everything. It's people, it's the animals, it's the environment. By identifying the partnerships ahead of time, by working together and recognizing that our health is interrelated, we can identify issues quickly. We can figure out where to have the most effective impact. I am so thankful that this project was funded and it has been so impactful. Knowing that I could be advancing science as a veterinarian, it's still exciting to me. I just hope that we are truly helping the zoo and aquarium communities. We hope that the guidance we come up with can help people protect their animals and protect the people that work there.